Legal action over plans for a new garden bridge across the Thames has been averted, well for now at least. A judicial review brought by local campaigners was due to be heard next week, but the trust behind the plans has now given a new guarantee over funding. Tim Donovan has more. The battle over this bridge was due to move to the courts next week, with local campaigners arguing it shouldn't be built and there are unanswered questions about how the annual running costs of more than £3 million will be met. But now the man bringing the action says there's no need for a judicial review hearing because he says the Garden Bridge Trust is going to give a new legal guarantee that it has the money for maintenance so the taxpayer won't have to pay. This isn't a promise, we might be able to do this, we hope we can do this, a business case. This is a guarantee. They have to produce either the money or an underwriter like Transport for London. And if they don't do that? The bridge can't be built. And it'll be contempt of court if they attempt to. And we will go back to court to ensure that that's the case. Westminster and Lambeth councils have already given permission for the bridge. The mayor backed it and Transport for London has matched the £30 million from the government to help build it. Today, the Trust said it will get the necessary guarantor in place in due course. We will need to have that guarantee there before we start construction and, and you know, that, that's something that is part of the process and that it's built in. But you don't know where you're going to be getting that from or that guarantee of those millions yet? At the moment, as I say, we will continue to talk to the parties that can provide that guarantee and, and when it's resolved, you know, Lambeth, Westminster, local community and so on will be informed. Meanwhile, more concerns about the bridge were being raised today as a Labour Green Lib Dem motion was passed by the London Assembly. We should actually withdraw the Transport for London funding for this project. This is not a transport project and money should be better spent on other projects and other bridges in London. Another factor which may just complicate things is that Lambeth Council has just designated this strip of land a so-called asset of community value. That will give local people the chance to put forward alternative options and it could lead to a delay of at least six months. The intention was to start building it early next year, but some still hold out the hope that it won't get built at all. Tim Donovan, BBC London News.